attacking. It's like Echo or Maelstrom, Diffusal. Sometimes, probably not this game, you wouldn't go Battle Fury, but super active, jumping into the middle of the fight, getting into the mix. And that's where Dawnbreaker will love these heroes because it opens up for these easier ults. And just to give context, guys, Mind Control Pudge, he hasn't won a game on competitively since 2014, February. 2014. It's been eight years since this lad has won a game on Pudge competitively. So this is a very important game for his career right now. And for him, right? He wants to win. Win this game was put very much if monkey's not there timber short timber saw sorry should be punishing everyone else on the side of enigma and that's where heroes like tiny and marcy ursa they're the ones that will be shutting down the monkey king to enable the timber saw to have the game that he kind of wanted when he got it picked i'm looking at sort of the the overlay matchups you know mid you know dawnbreaker versus tiny anything exciting happening here Mm. I'd argue there's a lot some toss back plays potentially onto the Stormbreaker and the tower, but both heroes once again are farming. No. You rarely see these first bloods and these pickoffs on middling nowadays with all the resources. Like earlier we did see a, a pickoff where the BZM got the solo kill and boom, but yeah, it's pretty hard to get kills on mid lane now, especially with the players that we have. Uh, and sort of in the top matchup. Oh, bottom. Oh, oh. Eleven. He could be uh, in trouble. Yeah. A good boundless there. Stops him from being able to drag himself out with a ting timber chain. It's going to be first blood for the safe lane of Nigma Galaxy. Yeah, once again, it's that level two advantage. He tried to pull some waves and get some XP that way, but yeah, miracle of a quick two. Kroki not even playing the lane at this point, just running, running around and harassing people. Yeah, this timber sword, he does need to have a good start to the lane. Again, it's very difficult against Monkey King, but if he doesn't have a good start, then the whole concept of this hero and what he's meant to provide for his team, being that kind of aggressive positioner to open up the vision to then get the initiations, if he can't do that, if he's squishy, Frames Draft might have some struggles with confidence in how they initiate. Once again, if you don't find Dazzle, there's going to be these graves. Just like game one with the Wyvern and the Cold Embrace, same thing with Dazzle. A top lane level two, time to go. Straight in with the Rot and the Cookie. They find themselves the kill on Spartan. Hasn't used the hook though. Full mana. That's just a, just a chaser. I think we'll have to be a little bit careful. I mean, Enigma Galaxy, will they have a chance to dive here? I mean, GH is kind of looking towards it. It's got the blast. Oh. Doesn't want to go for the hook. Yeah, GH not having any further mangoes or anything to, to set up for a, another cookie play right now. Low on the mana. What is the Edison? Oh. Uh -oh. Whoa. Oh, straight oh. down the middle. One for one. Take production. Yep. 50% chance of hitting his hook so far. Oh, the quick TP actually. I mean, they're going to look to try and kill him. There with the rebound, mind control. Oh, he's looking pretty dead. They'll pop the stick charges, it won't save him. Frame, they'll take him down. Man, that's a good thing though for this Ursa. You turn up against one of the, you know, the beefier off laners. You slowly start building up these Fury Swipe stacks. If there is a TP from a position four, you're always gonna have kill threat. So mind control in the back of his mind, he's gonna have to respect this. At the cost of that though, your Timber Saw not having a game at all. That's got the two points of the reactive now, so much harder for Nigma Galaxy to take down. We'll be able to bully him back away from the creep wave. It is. The miracles have to continue to very safely farm down here. It's only the benefit of having this dazzle. The dazzle with this poison touch, he's scared Brain from yeah, wanting to bring the melee here behind the tower to drag the waves. Ooh, two for one. So yeah, this dazzle pick really preventing the, the lane pulling shenanigans that we've seen throughout the last week at least. And yeah, this Timber sort of not having a game at all. You need this tri lane to start finding some kills. I mean, they're certainly doing that. GH, you put the fairy fire. It's not going to save him. Taking out Brain. Making sure that they have the stronger fight at the top with the three of them. Oh, put, oh no. Every time we look top, he dies bot. It, it really is a really rough lane. But I know at the start, I mentioned, oh yeah, it's a pretty good Timber Saw. But then I completely kind of forgot to mention that the lane is just... It's impossible. I mean, Dazzle Monkey King is so potent. I think even some most off laners in that lane wouldn't even get to play it. Should try to go for Thug? They're going to be coming in with some air rotation. Solar Guardian straight in on top of the earth. Thug is taken out. Dire structures are fortified. And down bottom again. 11. I should be okay here with the timber chains. 
resetting the poison touch there. That's true. And is he gonna be able to chain again? He's not. They've got him. Fire's top tower is under Feels like we're just we're gonna ground him. Oh, he hit the hook! Oh, three for one! Up. That's the good one there. Through the creep wave. Oh. Will they vote Six to two. Enigma Galaxy building that lead hit. Radiance bottom tower. I, yeah, I don't think I've seen a timber sword this shut down, and you have to remember that the often having no lane, it buys time for more heroes to play other sides of the map, and they're also losing that side of the map too. He's having to smoke himself back to the lane, yeah. But is he even going back to lane? Where's he gonna go? He's just yeah. waddling mid. Radiance middle tower is under attack. This is a horrendous start for Brain. They're often the team, especially when they were playing their Div 2 games, they're the teams that would have to pack a punch in the laning phase. They'd be aggressive, be able to run across the map, but if finally, at least this tour, haven't been able to find that momentum. I'm gonna try and look for a kill here with the three of them. Get themselves back into the game on this bottom half of the map, see if they can maybe catch Noop and Galaxy by surprise. Miracle's pretty far up. Ooh, but he's quick with the movement into the trees, which is going to try and find him. A miracle. Some nice movements across the tree line. Not giving any chance for which to find him. Oh, does actually come back and show himself in the lane. But he knows he can live through the burst and back up. It's turning up. GH is in with the cookie. Now let's take down Spartan. That'll get him. Spartan falls. Wish also in trouble. Here's the three of them chase him down. Buy some time with the avalanche, but it's not enough to get away from the catch of Nigma Galaxy. That's going to be Wish going down. Double kill for Miracle. Maybe seeing if there's an opportunity to die for, for Design. There just might be with the cookie in. The Jingu Mastery is still going. It's, ooh, has he got Boundless in a second? He has. He's got Spring as well. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he missed that. Oh, all right. Well, he won't get the triple. Got a courier, though. That's true. Gets the double, gets the courier. But, uh, missing out on the triple there. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, we've got an update from Mind Control's Hooks. He's now four for two. Quick confirmation. Are these? Oh, we well, get the replay of it. Oh, he hit, yeah. Clean. And yeah, this score is, of course, either yeah, hook great hit on heroes. If he knows the creeper call that doesn't count, it's only hook and heroes that we're, we're keeping track of. Under attack, but in the end, I was still made to hit things. A nine for two, 3k lead. Top lane. Mind control. Should be in trouble here. Under the tower and on his own. But a pretty big wand if he can juke a little bit. Find some time. He's not getting any TPs to come in. Nobody, nobody's looking to help him. But oh, no. He's <laughs> done it. Or maybe not. Oh, fuck up. He's oh, going hit him. Oh, unlucky. It was a good attempt. Marcy's a very balanced hero. You know, he juked them both and she just pounced back across the side of the map and yeah, finds him. Fair play. Nearly made it out. And uh, meanwhile, all of this has happened. Sumo's just having a glorious time mid. And with no pressure, he can be a little bit greedier on this mid dawn. Now, I think who wants to go for the echo? Yep. Why not? Become a become a bit more impactful. Like we've seen these mid dawns go just phase soaring Deso or BKB. Join the fight and end that way. But no, he's just going to play as if he is a carry from the mid lane. He had great success when he did that with the Alchemist. And they're nearly 80 CS. Top net worth. What is that? Oof. Mental. He's 5k gold. And so on top bottom now, to be clear, this is, you do not want to lay there. Kuroki, he's done a really good job of just sitting around, enabling Miracle. Miracle can independently find kills, and if he can't, Kuroki will just poke his head into lane after pulling, throw a poison touch, and they'll ensure that anyone who is down here will die. Ooh, 4 for 3, I think that is. Yeah, rough. Might still get the kill, though. Yeah, looks pretty dead. Yeah, the support, their supports really wanted that kill there. GH and Kuro, they're like, we'll take this. The Sumo just straight away into Thug. Even without the kill, just forcing the bear away from the small camp. Pushing him deeper into the jungle. Dyer's top tower is under attack. That's top tower's gonna be theirs. There's not gonna be a chance of Brame holding onto that one any longer. Oh, I like the quick buy from uh, Kuroki here. This. Oh, wait, hold on. Miracle. Get another freebie whilst you're at it. Oh, 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 oh. 
doesn't want to go for the courier though. Okay, he's going back for the courier. Dyer's courier has been slain. Oh, there was two he's courier. Got the the he got 11 Zanzas eyes. They were both perfectly on top of each other. He killed off the visage and was like, wait a second, the courier killed it. I was like, wait, there's two. But no, yeah, going back to Dazzle, I like this. You know, we've seen some Dazzles go for drums and four staffs and kind of get the shard later. But this is it's a two second stun on this AoE kind of poison touch. Oh, Hex at least, sorry. Like, that's really good. Like, when you're ahead in the game and you're running over your opponent, throwing out these two second hexes, it's gonna be very disruptive. And four melee heroes on Brain, they're gonna be quite clumped up. It'll be very good. Let's see what Brain wanna do about this. They are showing around the mid. Mind control. It's gonna be looking for that hook. Not quite. Slowly take down this tier one tower. <laughs> four for four on the hook score. Oh, some out nearly being able to farm both the familiars there. Oh, we'll be able to drop them in time. That 5k lead, this one, it's, it's speeding up even faster than the, the, the first game of this series. Yeah, it's just a difficult thing. Brain, they don't really have heroes that want to fight early on. If their lanes go well, sure, they might, you know, pivot around the map and try and look for some fights, but when they don't win the lanes, the heroes naturally don't just group up and find kills. Yeah, that's a tiny timber. They all need to find some farms. Ooh, thank you for that review. Okay, did actually hit a catapult. That's fair play. Yeah, I think the yeah, I guess actually to confirm a hit hook shot, a uh, hook sorry, is anything actually in in hindsight. Creep or hero, we'll, we'll take it. We'll let it slide, just to keep it easy for viewers. I won't catch anyone with the kisses. Yeah. You see, Brain when they're behind, the natural kind of rebuttal to that is by going doing really aggressive wards, and they have two wards in the Radiant Jungle, and that will allow just a little bit of time to understand where the positioning is of Nygma. Are they defensively jungling? Are they looking to play on our side of the map? And in doing so, that might open up for some smoke dodges and healthier play. Not so close. Uh, on try the for the blind one there. Yeah. That uh, thug other side of the lane is fine. He's under attack. Just trying to get his defusal done. So he can have some sort of fighting potential. Yeah, that's going to be the key timing here. The defusal on the Ursa, the Blink Dagger on the Tiny. You throw your Timber Sword down a lane, you play behind it, and you look to try and take that fight. Spartan will go for the resummon there, make sure he doesn't feed the familiars. I think this is one of the foot. Oh, wait. oh, another missed stun, but it's fine. Just farming up. This is one of the few games where Miracle has been very static. He's been just farming this bot lane. He's been ha had an absolute freebie, no real pressure, killing anyone who comes down here. And 13 minutes into the game, the fact that your carry has basically only played bot, it's very comfortable if you're Nygma. We're gonna look for the move towards Thug. Quite caught in the Solar attack. Guardian. Thug's gonna be fine, and in fact, might have the chance to set up to turn things around here. Already off to the side, Wish, he's burst through Kuroki. Mind control, nowhere to run. Good reactions from Brain there as Nygma Galaxy missing the initiation. Yeah, very good reaction. When Nygma's playing so split on the map, farming everything, showing every wave, even if you hit the hook on Pudge, it might look good, but you don't have the numbers there. So Brain, they need to TP heroes and they need to find that fight. Because if they let them play this, this kind of greedy... Oh, Wish, he gets the grab in on the mid. He's going to be able to find GX. Yeah, should. They need to find these, these cheap kills. They finally, they finally found kind of the entry to the game with the tiny blink dagger to punish Nygma's positioning. Oh, very nice moves there from Brain in that last minute. And they probably can keep doing this, right? If they somehow push the lanes out, get ready in position. In Miracle, he's, he's probably not going to be leaving this bot lane for some time. He's going to the rhythm of the farm. He might leave when he gets the BKB, or if there's a fight close to a tower, but I'd be very surprised if he TPs to a lane to then spring up into the enemy jungle. All right, look a wish. I'm trying to go for more. He's oh, now he's TPing close to the tower. See if he's able to get out of this, because Nygma Galaxy, I'm ready to chase. Indeed, they will find him. So wish. Jumping a little too deep there to try for the solo kill on Kuro. 
I'm just talking about how Miracle has been farming bottom, and the one opportunity for him to TP is going close to the towers, and he yeah, unfortunately wish does make that move and instantly opens up Nygma to group up and that one aggressive move, sure, you don't get the kill, but you've now allowed Nygma to make a smoke to want to find the fight and to keep it going. Another hook there. Easy hook there for mind control. Keep teaching you lessons. Catching Desire as Samael leads the chase straight back into the jungle of Brain. Bottom lane, Thug is out with the ultimate. I said, now he's got the defusal blade done. Does have the, the chance of you know, really getting involved in the fight. They have definitely got kill potential brain this game, even though they are behind. Yeah, anytime they find this dazzle, isolated, blow him up before the the grave, then you're gonna have to kill heroes. Also, you need to respect. Oh, that's died very quickly, even with the enrage. Yeah, Sumo, he changed up his items. He did what he wants. He did have Echo in the quick buy. Then he was like, you know what? Let's just win the game. Just goes back for the death. So it doesn't. Doesn't be greedy. Realizes that miracle's going for. There's another He's killed like four in this position. Oh, he's right, okay. This, oh. this time, wish quick enough to get it away from him. Just the amount of saves that Nigma have in this draft. The dazzle with the grave, the snapfire with the cookie, maybe an axe down the line to gobble someone up. This pudge with the shard as well can gobble up someone. If you don't get that kill on your jump, you're gonna struggle. Minecraft's running in. He's ready to catch someone. They're gonna look for Spartan, they're gonna get the quick kill on the Visage first, he's lining up the hook, but he won't be able to connect here onto 11, and now, potential turnaround, which them with the avalanche onto the two of them, Doug's trying to commit onto Mind Control, and there's the hex down, that's Sean Von Kuroki, Mind Control being kept alive by the grave, that's 11 that falls, so now a miracle, they'll turn towards Wish, chasing Brain out, as Brain they've got to run, and Wish, he won't get the chance, again with the Poison Touch Hex, it's going to be another kill for Enigma Galaxy. They won't lose anyone in this fight, Brain. They've lost three spawns, did buy back. Whoa, the damage. In with a chase, get the balance strike out of the tomb. It's going to end up being a die back there from Spartan. Those two out and Miracle have over I mean, 10,000 gold. What's the stop, please? Look at the lead that they've built. Two men are griefing. <laughs> Miracle. <laughs> Uh, having a bit of fun there. That's it, uh, very much it. 17 minutes, starting to feel like we're in the same spot as game one. And just relentless, Enigma Galaxy. They'll kill whoever they want at this point. Even when they're ahead, they make sure that they're just playing as a unit. They farm the map beautifully. Miracle didn't really make any early moves. He killed Tiny once. In doing so, it led to a smoke across the map, opening up all the kills. See that fight again up top. Just fell apart completely for Brain. And yet, yeah, you see, like Brain, they try to initiate, but the Tiny jumps in, Avon launches, tosses the timber. Even if he connected, wouldn't really do the damage. Kuroki's just at the back, free cast and keeping mind control alive. At that point, you've got to disengage. All of Nigma are ready, Brain were not. Brain were the ones behind. Yeah, and the amount of damage you have early on. The shard on the dazzle, the damage of the snapfire, the beautiful hooks of mind control. Yeah, it's, it's a very difficult game. We're back in action. Some more death across the map. It is for Brain. Two heroes out, Spartan taken down. Don't, might be able to find Mind Control. No, there's the Grave and there's the CP and they've got no way to stop it. So they won't even get him. Now the chase. Right, it's going to be some out. Starting off the action with the Star Breaker. Into the Cookie, the Boundless. They keep 11. Permanently locked down there with the stuns. 26 to 6. 19 minutes in. What time do they end up managing to force the GG in game one? It was, it was like 22 minutes. 22 minutes yeah. 55. I got the first game victory. Could be on track to, to hang something similar here. Does look like they're trying to find one of the quickest series times. I mean, Samael, he's ready to play. He's got the rapier queued up next. Go on, mate. Do it. Do it. do it. You better do it. You don't tab it in you and don't. then don't buy it. He has that's to do it thing. now. He has to do it. But that's the comeback mechanism for Brain, you know? Sumo buys the rapier, jumps Yeah, they're going to have a race here. Miracle's going for his as well. <laughs> <laughs> they better do it. Uh, we need split screen. Monkey versus uh, the, uh, the, the dog breaker. On the rapier race here from the two of them. 
getting mini games within our competitive games now. Jumping into bot lane, filling off the after. Sumar takes lead for the rapier. Oh no, he's not. She's marked behind. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Miracle's way. It's a thousand gold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clicked on the wrong area. Oh, here we go. Right, so... Well, well, at this speed, they're killing them. There's a very high chance we're not going to see either rapier in this game. As we need to talk. Of course, taken down. The question here is for Brame is when they're running around the map and just dying relentlessly, do they just call the GG in regards to the fact they know they can't retake the fight? Or will they continue playing on? This is going to be the true test of their resilience under this pressure. Oh, mind control. Kind of deep under the tower. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. They get okay, the kills. GG GG. They get the GG. Fast the game on here. About 20 minutes, 45. So beating game one's GG. About two minutes there. Enigma Galaxy. We're still very much having fun here in this.